Boys, 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 boys. Let me tell you something about hunting in other states. I grew up hunting the exact same way every single day with my dad and his friends, and they were very specific on how they did things. And then when I started hunting with other people, especially, they're like, why would you do it like that? I'm like, well, this is how we do it, and we kill a lot of birds. So then you go to a different state, and they're like, why would you ever do that? So what I'm on here to tell you today is to get out of the mold and listen to other people unless it's not working. So, so we were just in another state, we're hunting a river, and we start setting out decoys, you know, 10 to 15 feet from the bank, and he goes, oh no, pull them right close into the bank. And I'm thinking to myself, that's dumb. They're not gonna see us, and they're not gonna wanna land that close to the river bank, right? I was wrong. I was absolutely wrong, because every duck that came into that river bank wanted to hit the dang blind. It was insane. One, I don't know everything, and that two, especially when someone has been hunting that area and they have been very successful their entire life, it's better to just shut up, swallow your pride, and just be like, you know what? I will try what you're going to do. I was recently in Nebraska earlier this year, and we were hunting the river, and in my mind, if we have good sun, good wind, birds are gonna hop from water to water all day. That was not the case in Nebraska. What they did is they just hung tight to where they were, trying to keep an ice hole open, instead of coming to the running water, that absolutely blew my mind. So on a cloudy day, you think, okay, we're gonna go to a cornfield and we're gonna hit them. For whatever reason that day, they went and staged on dirt before going to feed. Blows my mind. So what we did that day is we staged on dirt, <laughs> which makes no sense. We set up like 35 dozen honker full bodies on literally a pile of dirt. It looked like a chisel plowed bean field, but they don't chisel plow in Nebraska really. And I said, there's no way we're gonna kill birds here. And we killed a lot of geese. So it makes no sense to me. They have staging areas before they go out and feed on land. And in Minnesota or the Midwest in general, the staging area is a body of water. So completely different way. Learned a lot from those guys down there. We hunt big honkers here in Minnesota. We don't shoot lessers, hardly ever, unless it's a huge migration day and you pull a couple of stupid lost puppies out of a flock. And when I went down to Oklahoma and hunted with Stewart Ranch, we were all the way on an edge hide and we put our decoys out 35 to 40 yards out from us and they're in a big long line. And I'm thinking to myself, we're not even gonna be able to hit these birds because they're gonna shortstop the outside of that line of decoys at 35, 40 yards. I'm thinking to myself, wow, we should do this. And I said something and they're like, nope, just watch. And I said, okay. So when the birds circled, they circled in between us and the decoys and we were able to get some good shots off like that. But also they would actually land in between us and the decoys and the wind would switch there a lot too. So the birds would come around and they would land into us with their butts showing or they would come and land in front of them and so it's just another little reminder of, okay, you don't know everything. Every single area is completely different. So I encourage you to listen to the people in that area and then you can use those ideas in your area when your birds are acting weird and different and try new things because it really, really works, especially in our October lull when we have a hard time killing birds. I've used the stuff that we did in Oklahoma, Kansas, Iowa, all over the place and it works and learn from other people online. Really study how they do their spreads and learn from other people. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Please don't subscribe and stop watching our videos.